so hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in the last video i showed you how to display the artwork in a particular now playing screen so in this video i'm going to teach you how to play multiple songs so up until now uh, the behavior of this app was we could only play one song and we could not seek forward or next so in this video we are going to implement playing multiple songs so first off what i want is if i play on one if i click on one song only then i want only this song to be played but if i click on let's see a button somewhere right around here i want to play all the songs that uh, is contained within my app so in order to do that let's uh, let's first uh, make a ui that shows a little button right around here so under all songs what i want is instead of returning a list view dot builder uh, i would like to wrap this inside a stack widget and instead of child all right now i want a little circle avatar here so i uh, circle avatar with a child of icons dot play now uh, now i want uh, the icons uh, the buttons alignment to be a uh, to be button right so wrap this circle avatar with alignment widget a yeah, align widget and provide the alignment to alignment dot bottom right all right now as you can see the button has been placed here so what i want is a little margin and a little more radius so i want the radius to be let's say 30 okay it looks good i want a gesture detector in order to recognize the taps so wrap it with just a detector and on tap let's provide a method all right now what i want is a little margin to the right and little margin to the bottom so uh, wrap this circle avatar with a widget container and provide a margin to bottom and right only so i want a margin of 15 to right and 15 to bottom let's see how this looks like okay it looks good now uh, what i want is if i click on this particular button then uh, I want all the songs to be played but before that uh, I want to share a little UI issue with you since uh, if you scroll uh, if you have multiple songs and if you scroll to the last song then the more icon right here will be hidden because of this so in order to fix this we're going to have to provide a uh, padding to the list view right here so provide a padding uh, only to the bottom I provided a padding of 60 so this fixes the issue that if you have multiple songs and if you scroll to the last then uh, the last songs uh, this icon will not be hidden inside our costume floating at scene button now let's move on to playing all our songs so under now playing screen right now what we are doing here is we are only accepting one particular song so instead of accepting only one particular song what i want to accept is a list of song model all right and as you can see uh, now that uh, since we are accepting a list of song model and we are only passing one particular song 
when I click on a particular song, so uh, it's giving me an issue. So what I will do is, uh, if I click on one particular song, then I will add this song, only this song to a list and pass it to now playing screen. But if I click on this little icon here, then I will add all the songs that I have into a variable and I'll pass that variable into now playing screen. So first, let's create a variable. That is a list of song model. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all our songs into this song model. So before returning this gesture detector, I will add all the songs. To our variable all songs now this might be a little hard to uh, understand so i'm going to provide my project's github link so if you are stuck in anything you can take a reference from there so now instead of uh, passing only one song what i uh, said that i will add this particular song into a list and pass only this song so I have added only this particular song when I click only on uh, when I click here and passed it to now playing screen and if I click on this particular icon here I will pass I will pass all our songs into that screen now go to now playing screen uh, as you can see here that uh, when we passed only one song model we parsed the audio source from that particular song model but since we are passing the list of song model we can't just parse one song model instead we are going to have to parse all the songs model uri so in order to play multiple songs uh, the package just audio provides us with the class named as concatenating audio source So we are going to have to add all our songs to that class. So first before doing that uh, create a Variable known as song list and that is a list of audio source So what we are going to do is we are going to loop uh, through this song model list and parse all the song that is inside this song model list and add it to the song list here so widget dot song model list dot for each and we are going to parse every element here element is song model and add it to our variable right here so song list dot add and it's basically this now instead of widget dot song model dot uri it's element dot uri And instead of uh, passing only one audio source, we are going to pass it a concatenating audio source uh, which will require a children and the children is going to be the list of audio source that is this variable right here. So there is another problem in this screen. Uh, the problem is that uh, when we were passing only one song model right here, we displayed the name of that particular song but since but since we are passing it multi, uh, passing multiple song model uh, right here we can't just uh, print the song model display name so in order to solve that uh, we are going to need a new variable uh, i'm going to name that new variable let's say current index and i'm going to give it a default value of zero 
so uh, once you click right here we are going to play the all, all the songs uh, from the beginning and zeroth index means the first song so we are going to start from the first song uh, that's why i gave it a default value of zero so under uh, instead of this song model we are going to provide it with current index from the song model list and display its name all right now let's see how our app looks like uh, if we click on right uh, click here then uh, we are going to play our song right from the beginning that zero with index uh, that means the first song that is in our device so the first song is right here so if we proceed to the end of the song now let's see what happens so right now we are playing the uh, the first song now if our song changes as you can see the notification automatically gets updated uh, and the position and the duration also gets updated but uh, the title here is not being updated so in order to solve that uh, what we are going to do is we are going to listen to the index of the song that is currently playing and update the screen so in order to do that let's create a variable listen to song index and create a new variable listen to song index we are going to listen current index stream and we are going to set the state of current index to event before that let's do a null check so if event is not equals to null then we are going to set the current index to that event now let's see what happens when one particular song is at the end oh i'm really sorry i should have played all the songs Now, as you can see, the title gets updated, but the artwork is not being updated. Uh, so we have to update the artwork too. So in order to update the artwork, what we are going to do is we are going to notify our listeners that the ID of now playing song has been updated. So the ID is going to be. current index currently playing songs id so once you have done that let's see if the uh, artwork gets updated or not so as you can see the title is also being updated and the artwork is also being updated now let's move on to this control right here and here so in order to do that go into your icon button right here and add this function so if we press on this play next icon so first we are going to check if our audio player has next or not so if our audio player has next then we are going to tell our audio player to seek to next and similarly for previous we are also going to check if our audio player has any song that is in previous stack or not and if it's true then we are going to tell our audio player to seek to previous all right now let's see the behavior of our app so uh, so if we 
uh, click only on one song then you can see that if i click on next or previous then nothing happened because there is no song in our list only this song so and if i click on this icon right here and if i click on next or previous then you can see that the song gets changed and the notification is also changing similarly if you click on this notification icon right here then the song gets changed automatically so that's it for the video guys hope you guys like the video and if you don't understand this video and some might some people might not understand because uh it's rather complex so if you don't understand this video then be sure to check the link for the github right below i'll provide it in the description so that's it for the video guys thank you very much and i'll see you soon